Police agencies around the nation are working to better protect their own. This comes after three police officers were killed in Baton Rouge, five in Dallas, and several others shot and injured over the last month. They're making sure officers have protection against handguns and semi-automatic rifles, the same weapon used in the Pulse nightclub shooting, Dallas and Baton Rouge. Channel 4's Heather Lee is joining us live. And Heather, you spoke with the Bradford County Sheriff's Office. Have they started making changes? Absolutely, Mary. They say street officers are sort of in new territory these days. Things have changed quite a bit, and because of that, they must adapt. We're seeing more situations where officers on the street need to be protected from active shooting situations until the SWAT team gets there. There's a lot of different options, a lot of different manufacturers out there. Tactical and bullet-resistant vests can save lives, and that's a must for law enforcement, especially now. Officers put their lives on the line. We know that there's that danger out there. We want to be as safe as we possibly can be. The production and manufacturing of AR-15 type semi-automatic rifles is up 200 percent since 2004. That's according to the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives. <laughs> Combine that with the recent targeting of police officers in America and you've got a dangerous situation. One reason agencies are trying to get ahead of the threat. This is the type of vest that officers wear on a day-to-day -day basis when they're responding to calls. It's pretty lightweight, but if they need that added layer of protection, they can grab what's now being called the active shooter kit, and they can easily keep it in the back of their trunk or in the front of their car, and it's accessible. The actual um, ballistic shield itself can be made out of uh, a couple of different things. You got the steel plates, you got the ceramic plates and the polymer plates. Cost is gonna vary in those. The durability uh, factors vary in those. It's a big difference from what members of a SWAT team wear or military, for example. This vest is about 70 pounds and includes medical kits, water and extra ammunition and has plates along the shoulders and neck. But it is not exactly feasible to wear for long periods of time and those who do wear them go through extensive physical training. Stan Raisin, a body armor specialist that helps manufacture the active shooter response kit, says they are about $385 excuse me, $385 each, but for the top of the line vest, they can be comfortably worn for longer periods of time, are more expensive, they are made from polymer and weigh significantly less, only about five pounds for the entire thing.